All right, this is my third session of the day. I have played many games, and I have changed my rating exactly one point. We are still racing for 24-24. My opponent has achieved such heights. I have not. Uh, of course, I have in the past, but not today. Yeah, let's just control, trade off the good bishop. I tend to like bishop b4, queen a5 in these lines. The knight just looks a little stupid. Um, I'll use the g file, maybe. We'll come back, bishop d6, queen c7. Knight d7. We've got e5 pretty well under control. Hmm. Which way to take back? I guess we'll take back the slightly sounder way. Uh, let's put my king on e7. Okay. Knight h4 now is trouble. It is trouble. Uh. Yes. Well, this is, this is why you don't... Uh, <laughs> Put your king on e7, and then play e5. Yeah. Uh, what a what a disaster. All right. Knight b6. If knight d6, I resign. <laughs> yep, very bad. Okay. That game never happened. Okay. I'm going to play another English. Uh, one of the many lines I should check occurs after d5 there. But now the knight has to retreat. They can play d6 or knight c6. I prefer playing against knight c6. Um, c5 useful. Let's pretend it is. I keep uh, not doing well in endgames, but also endgames are where I am least behind on the clock. So let's take that. Sit with the knight on e5. A little awkward for them to defend everything. Um, how awkward? Not actually that awkward. Alright, we'll double. My knight on e5 defends g4, so it's like, I guess not actually that hard for their knight to find a square, because it can just go to d5, but I was pretending it was difficult. Let's try to come to d6. Yeah, well this didn't work out. Uh, ooh. Oh, that of course blunders to bishop a4, which was their intent. Alright. Terrible game, terrible game. <laughs> We're gonna develop our pieces London style. I'm gonna play queen a5 before bishop b4. And then I'm gonna take this and pretend their e5 pawn's annoying to defend. Which I think it is. We'll put some more pressure on that. Try to play bishop b4, knight e4, something like that. I guess I'll take. Been dreaming of endgames all day. If they take an f6, I have to take back. No, I can still take back knight, because my queen defends it. Um, I can take that. I do not know why they felt that was obliged, but I'm grateful. Okay. Um, let's try to trade pieces, I guess. I'm very confused. I remain immensely confused. Hang g7, but like, that doesn't matter. What's happening? Uh, don't do it that way. Alright, e5, my queen defends. Sure. Okay, buddy. Ah, weird game. Um, they played, I think, even worse than I did the prior two games. So, uh, one for three this video. Not a shining start. Uh, we'll play an exchange QGD. C6 is a clever move, uh, delaying where my bishop can go. They are much faster than me. Um, so I maybe should throw in some like moves that just attack something. Uh, so what's the turn order on this? I'm going to start with rook g1. They should play a4. b4, knight a4 blocks off the queen side, and it becomes much harder for them to attack. So I think this was a mistake on their part. Um, if they play c5, I can just take with the knight. My knight controls all the key squares. I'll play knight c5 anyway. Try to play knight f5. If they take. I can inconvenience them further. Okay, take this. Gotta go faster again. We know they're fast. That is their main strength, it appears. I'm gonna try to play rook d2 at some point, just to make sure everything's a little better defended. Maybe g5 and h4 should come. Alright, let's play h4. 
where's my knight go? Always check, might be made. And h5. Queen b2 is check, and close to checkmate. Okay, it's not quite, so we'll keep taking things. Seems good. Okay, that was a little loose because now my queen, uh, my stuff doesn't defend as well, but this was a blunder. Of course, uh, rook g7, queen f8, and then queen e7, rook g5. All right, we got there. All right, we'll give them another game, though I do not like playing players that are quite this fast because I have established what my main deficiency is at the moment. e4, I think, is a little inaccurate. I think e3 gets a little more pressure. The queen can sometimes come to f3. Um, all right, we're going to stabilize the queen side first. Uh, knight f6. They defended the pawn. Played very quickly. Yes, they can take that. Maybe I could have played knight e4 in response. Let's see what the bishop's doing. And maybe play here. Go for e5. Mm -hmm. Okay. Curious how they're taking back. Don't love what I'm doing, but I don't hate it either. Because e4 is loose at the end. So if they just play f3, though, can I hold the pawn? Maybe. Not sure. Okay. I think this was about the best I could hope for. My knight on e5 is a very stupid piece, so I am delighted they are trading it off. Is this a smart idea, going for an endgame against someone much faster than me here? Probably not, because they can play on for a long time. Uh, okay. Now they can't play on near as long. Ooh, even better. Okay, let's keep our pawns. Oh, I should have played rook b2 last turn, but it's good enough here as well. And... They walked into mate. Wonderful. All right, let's play a new opponent. Okay, okay, we're back up to a plus one on where I started the day on, suggesting I am perhaps properly rated, and it will be quite hard for me to reach the heights of 24-24. This is our aspiration. I play knight d5 to get a little better control over f4, which I think is useful. They often take and then play... okay. Um, I want to take and play d4, but I'm not sure it's sound. That's my inclination here. I don't think this works. I feel like they can take on f4, then d4, but maybe they'll take some time to find it. Mm. Okay, okay. I can play knight g3. My knights are pretty good. If they move the bishop, I'd love to play f5. They did not oblige. Alright. Okay, rook e1 looks good. Useful move. Guess I can take on c7 at some point. So may as well be now. Knight e7 is often hinted at. Make sure c4 never hangs. Uh, maybe come back with knight e3. d4 is loose. Uh, this was not the right way to do it. Okay. But now bishop e4 is fairly annoying for them. Yeah. I'm just going to take on h4. And play bishop g3. Or bishop f2, I guess I have to. Um, let's go bishop g3. And how can I activate? Rook e6, of course, blunders to bishop d4. Huge blunder. They missed it. Hallelujah. Uh, not really sure what I'm going for here, but uh, I have a check. Might be made. Now I hang h2, but do they have a follow-up check? They don't have rook e3. Oh, blundered. Oh, but we got there. Okay, I think uh, one or two more games for the round. And I'll call it a day. Hopefully up slightly on rating, though it seems 
unlikely at this point. I did not actually mean to play e5, but I do like the move, so it's okay. Try to play e4. Okay. Make sure everything's defended. Um, I'm gonna swap queens, as we always do. Uh, just going to try to be the dullest player on the planet. Knight c5, idea to come to e6, they did not acquiesce. They have the two bishops, but they can't really trade off all the rooks. They're just going for an opposite bishop's endgame. Okay. I don't feel so bad about this. Um, I can defend the pawn they'd naturally go for. B6, just get pawns off the bad color complex. This lets their bishop in, but like... I don't really know that I had a choice. Um, okay, fair enough. I'll bring my king over so that their pass pawn can't be a serious problem. Can I play f5? Probably not. I think at this point we're likely just repeating. I, of course, did not press this at all. Uh, let's hope they go back and then I can play f5. They did not. Now there is literally nothing that can be attacked, and we can safely pre-move out the game. And they did concede the draw. Alright. We'll go for another Meroxy, again praying that they don't ever take on c3. Now if knight d4, I kind of like to play knight d2, and I think here as well. Um, because their knight really ends up lacking squares. And... Okay, here I'm not so scared of this. Knight b3 comes with tempo, though they can play queen a4, which is often quite annoying. And they kind of want to do that anyway. But c4 is under under our control. Uh, did they miss this? I think so. Alright, well, we got a queen and an opponent who does not love resigning. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, final game, I think. All right. We will trade off the London Bishop. I want my knight on d7 rather than c6, for reasons. Huh. All right, so there's stonewalling. We'll stonewall back. rid of their knight. They can grab a pawn on c5. Probably ordered this wrong. Okay, let's just take. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that was a bad game to end on, so <laughs> we won't play one more. Just one of those where you're thinking about the last move and don't see the next one. If we win this game, we will be up on the session, so I feel good about that. Uh, I think trying to play an early e5, or at least be ready to play e5, is pretty useful, especially with their king still in the middle. This just loses a pawn, and knight g5 may be annoying down the road. Let's go e5. Where's the knight going? Knight h5, I think bishop h4, and here, what about bishop e4, and then rook e4. We keep the e5 pawn defended, and we hit the knight. So let's kick the knight. And queen e2, idea rook d1. Uh, maybe get my knight to d6, hit a7. Okay. My bishop on h2 is pretty good if the e5 pawn moves. I could take here and then take on d4, I believe. 
Do I want f4? No, I don't. I would like bishop f4, but I'm a little worried they play g5. So I would like bishop f4 without letting them have g5, which I think has been achieved. Try to trade queens. I do feel the e-pawn is worth having their queen out of the action. Hitting a7. Let's poke first. Okay. And we are up a pawn in a king and pawn endgame, but our king's too far away. Uh -huh. And we are out of time. Yes! All right, what a game to end on. All right, cheers. Uh, we ended at 23.67 with 8, which is up 9 points on the day. Not great, but a little closer to 2,400. Cheers.